The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials uh, down 7. Nasdaq's up 14. S&P's are down 4. We have the gold contract down $3.60, trading at 1243 You have silver down uh, 11 cents, $16.38 an ounce. You get platinum off about 3 and a half bucks at nine twenty-one an ounce. Copper, they're taking copper south down uh, three and a half. Oil south too, oh, man. Oh, they're taking oil I was south. Waiting for you baby. to get to oil, yeah. Totally, three and a half pennies on copper, two fifty-five a pound. Oil, oil is down a buck thirty-five, folks. Breaking out its low, forty-two dollars eighty-five cents with volume. I'm waiting for the oil in the thirties again. Oil Why in the thirties. Oil numbers. Summer driving. Oil numbers uh, tomorrow morning. API, right. API at four thirty tonight. Right, tonight yeah. EIA tomorrow morning, Lots seven uh, ten thirty. Notes, the 10-year note up two ticks, 126.23, 30-year bond up 21 ticks. It's already moved a point off its low, 157.10. And King Dollar, King Dollar up 166 ticks, 97.430. The euro is at 111 to the U.S. dollar. Yen is at 111 and a half. And there's no doubt that oil number is a big number, man. Just keeps going, man. It keeps going. Well, We're yeah. At 55, oil not keeps that going long ago. south. The market keeps going north. True. I think we're going to get over to our man, Mr. Kevin Let's Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Let's see. Let's see Thank you, Swim. And folks, don't forget, every trading day right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, Kevin Hinks, Scott Connor, they got an amazing show, Swim Lessons. If you want to understand options upside down, folks, no matter where you're listening right now, if you're just waking up, well, you in, in the West Coast at 7 o'clock in the morning, you're driving down the coast, guess what? 12 o'clock your time. Right on your, no, 9 o'clock your there time, you go. right on your cell phone, go to tfnn.com, you hit Tiger TV, you're going to get a great lesson in options, and guess what, folks, where we are in the marketplace, the option market is one of the most efficient markets in the world, basically, okay, because you get the collective, you, me, everyone else coming in saying, okay, what is the market doing? Supply and demand. Find so out we, where that we, price is. We're going to go to Kevin Hinks and find out, what, find out. Is, what is this what's market doing. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How are you doing? doing? You know, I, I heard the, this, this morning that uh, there was, there was and, I, and I've heard you guys talk about this so much, too. And it's so important that the option market is so efficient on a continual basis because it just takes advantage of everything in a derivative sense very quickly, and it says, okay, these, these are your risk, you know? So if there's an opportunity, it gets taken care of, it right? It does. And right, and, and you know, Tom, when people talk about implied volatility, you know, everyone wants to put a scientific uh, measurement on it, but what implied volatility moves based on what? Demand and supply of order flow. Yes. Right? Demand for option order flow, and you can, you know, risk on, risk off. You can, depending on if they're buying calls or not, that's what moves implied volatility. Right. right? It doesn't matter if this market's up 200 points. If there's net put buyers in the SPX, yes. the VIX is going higher. Right. Right. right? And because that's what drives volatility. So that's exactly right. That's why implied volatility and these markets and the option markets in general are do show efficiencies or sometimes they you know but they're not always right yes they're, they're not right 100 percent of the time but they tend to show you know what direction and it's like skew where did option skew come from right option skew came from the 87 crash okay. and people started to build in directional risk in the market which is normally downside is where there's more risk, obviously. Right. Markets don't crash up. Right, so, right. Not so after they've had a bull market for eight years either, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so th this, is why, this is why option order flow and implied volatility is so important. And that's why I always talk about, if you're going to learn one thing about these markets, be an expert at implied volatility. Yeah, definitely. 
And you know, you know, in that aspect too, too Kevin, when you, when you bring this up, you can see that we were just laying flat from November going all the way over to uh, March 21st. And then, you know, we've had some good spikes here, man. I mean, it's been, you know, a slightly different market since the, you know, yeah. March 28th area. Short-lived sure. spikes. Sure. But yeah, short-lived, right. but that's right. No, Definitely so short-lived. Starting somewhere. <laughs> you know, Tom, when I was a specialist on the CBOE and running option volatility, Yes. I used to always try to find the level of implied volatility that brought in two-way paper. Okay. Right? If, yes. it, if, if it was one-sided, that means if it was all sellers, it means I was too high. If it was all buyers, it means I was too low. I would always try to get the volatility where there was two-sided paper. And this market may have found that area now where, where there's you know, two-sided trade going on. It's not straight up, it's not straight down, but it's it's kind of a two-sided trade right yeah. now, and that's and that's a good thing, though. It is, and that's why it's so important, and that's what, it, what it, at the beginning, why I think all of us have to understand options so well, because that's what I think, whether you trade options or not, that's what you can get out of the option I, market. I always right? Right. start by yeah. looking at the VIX you just know? to get a feel for what's going on, and, right? And it, it's, it, yeah. it makes such common sense, too. I mean, it, right. it, you know, if you have a two-way street no matter what your view is guess what it's a two-way street and until it's isn't it is right and we can talk about option skew and things like that all the time because option skew normally favors the downside but check out option skew right before a stock splits okay a lot of times it'll go to the call side oh uh, wow yeah so it right. shows you where the implied risk is sure amazing folks right here 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Outstanding show. If you haven't test drove the uh, Thinkorswim platform, just jump on our website, hit it. The, you'll let you trade with paper money. Kevin, we look forward to the show at 12 o'clock. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Always a pleasure to talk to the O'Brien. Thanks, Thanks. Good you too, man. Take care. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back, folks. has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Folks, uh, Dow right now uh, is down 14, NASDAQ is down 7, S&Ps are off 3. Uh, you got the NQs up 6, and uh, inside the NQs, folks, okay, uh, it's all about the IBB today. Uh, yesterday was about the high flyers, the IBB's up 579. You're at, uh, excuse me, folks, 305.53, and it's taken, over, uh, taken off uh, over the swing point uh, back to March yeah. 2nd, yep. uh, 30374. Yep. Uh, inside that NDX, what you have is that Regeneron is up 4.9% or $23. I'm guessing that's in the IBB, right? Uh, it is. Yeah. It is. Uh, Alexan is up yeah, Alexion, by 2.4%. Yep. Uh, uh, BIIB, Biogen was just in there, so that's that's up there, there too. Yep. Up $4.18. Uh, uh, let's go over to our man Tony in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, Tony. Tom. Tom. Tom in Plymouth. Oh, Tom in Plymouth. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. He's got everything going, man. There we go. Hey, what's hey, going Tony, on, man? Tony's my cousin, but that's okay. Get Tony on the line, too, it, then. Hey, is he really? <laughs> yeah. I love it. Perfect. The, Tony, that calls here, right? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hey, you never know, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tony, wait, Tony, wait, Tony wait, I don't think you have a Tony from Plymouth. So where's Tony from? He's from Boston. Uh, there's plenty of Tonys in Plymouth. There yeah. are. You just got to get him calling this show, Tom. I, don't yeah, worry. He's going to call him. He's listening right, right now. <laughs> He'll save my butt <laughs> right now. <laughs> hey, so yesterday, right, I, um, this DIY, I, was, um, I sent an email to Steve Rhodes, and he said, you know, Twelve ninety two is the key on this. That's what he said. So I had bought a little bit. Okay. But in the afternoon, it kind of jumped over the twelve ninety. It was up to thirteen, thirteen oh five. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna start going all in on this thing. So I bought it all late afternoon, and sure enough, he said twelve ninety two. It closed at like twelve ninety nine or something. Here it is this morning. Boom. Yep. So let's, let's take a look at it. I know what it is. It's Tony from Wellesley, by the way. That's there you that's, go. that's that's Tony. Hi, Tony. How you doing, man? <laughs> um, okay, so the ERY is the direction um, energy bear three times inverse correlation of the energy select sector index. Um, is you know, it the inverse? Yes. Okay, yes, you're right. Yeah. So if we go over and we take a look at that um, XLE, you're going to see that the XLE is banging into the, the lows out here. We wait 6460, you hit 6434. 22 million shares versus uh, 4.1 right now. Let me just see. see this. Of course, it's the inverse if it's up. Oil's getting trashed. Yeah, <laughs> big time. And let's go into Exxon Mobil. That's the largest waiting. Okay, it's down slightly. Chevron. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how. Uh, okay, so. Well, I'd, I'd put a big. Quick stop on this too. I mean, you, you get you get a nice score here, but this thing's going to take my money and run. I, I did it last week too. Made like yeah, it's it's it. it's going to be a close call because you know Exxon and Chevron almost look like they're going to reject lower price out here. Um, you know, but what you also can do here because you already have it right, you don't have to like you don't have to take you you don't have to close the position. You could just say. Okay, man, I'm taking a nickel underneath this and put a stop and let it stop yourself out in case you in case this thing runs all day and the oil market really gets croaked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. No, that's probably a great idea know, right there. Some of those equities don't look so bad for oil maybe being in the 30s. They don't. You know, no, like they, they don't. Could. And they've come down for six months straight. Sure. You sure. know, but. They're what, still not even at lows, though, right? No, it's they're like not. Oil's they're creeping not. towards 30s. And, and and what does happen is that when you get a streak going, which, you know, this oil thing could really get nasty, you know. Oh, well, it could be in the 30s in a heartbeat, I think, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, totally. Yeah. We I mean, just at $55 this, almost. Th this is a break with volume today. You know, this thing is, uh, this thing is barreling, and, you know, you know, we're already at, uh, what, 500,000 contracts. We did 600... 
and 20 yesterday. Yeah. That's just this thing. It's got at least a few hours left. It, right? it does. It does. And if and if it you know blows apart, it could be a big few hours. It, it can. And then that way, you know, you just let the market stop you all. You might. I mean, if it's 10 cents down, it's 10 cents down. It's the end of the, end of the world. Yeah, you know right, what I mean? Right. Yeah. No, that's great. Great advice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Well, you know what happens? And it, it, what's intriguing about this, folks, even doing that, when you trade enough of these, right? Sometimes you forget. I forget myself. I'm saying to myself, oh, I got a great streak going. Okay, I'm going to close and take my money. I say, oh, hold it. It's early in the morning. Why don't you just put the stop in it in case you get a trend all day? Now, sure. it's very unusual to get, I can tell you, like, statistically, probably a trend all day like that, you only get one out of five times. But if you get it, you get it. Sure. And then all of a sudden, you get another point, And that's a big number. Definitely. You know what I mean? So... And either way, you're going to get your money. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. just going to say, okay, I'm going to get a little bit less, you know, sure. if I get stopped. Definitely. But, you know. And then during the day, listen, you get you get another spike down. Good. Raise the stop again and, right. you know, hope by the end of the day you do get stopped out and yeah. you're, you're off to the races, Definitely. man. You can give yourself an eight-cent trailing stop or something like totally. that if you wanted to. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, I've been, I've been really sitting on my hands on this LABD. I'm wondering what you think about this. It's the, uh, no, don't the touch it. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it right now. It's the LABD, folks, is the uh, direction 300% inverse correlation of the S&P Biotech Index. And we just brought the other correlation up with this IBB. And I can show you, and I, and I think, you know, a couple tigers, they, they get saved on this because what, what this was showing, if you want to see, that was showing right there. I got a couple calls that day on the 15th about selling it. And I says, oh, don't sell that thing, man. It's pushing the, that, I was pushing the swing point with volume on the 15th. So you gotta let All this right. thing fail now. I mean, this thing is, you know, over the 30374, you'd have to fail yeah. over that or uh, it's gone higher. Yeah. You know? And right now, it, it very well could be an ABC up, you know. And if it's an okay, ABC, well, if it's an ABC up, it's a big one. Yep. Yeah. So, this is uh, quite a consolidation. So look at this. Yeah. This consolidation. What? January of 16. Yeah. It's a long time, man. Yeah. Yeah. I let it, you know, looks to me, oh, this is interesting. Okay. So you know that, you, yeah, it's, it's the 305. Three. It's the high of the week of January 15th of yeah. 16. So it's 304.76 on the weekly. Just let this, be, let this be for a few more days and see... Uh, where that baby shakes out, because it looks to me like uh, you're going to get there, and you know it's too too early in the week to find out whether you're going to get the volume. It only needs 19 million, and uh, it's going to have some work to do. Oh, it's going to definitely have some work to do. Yeah, it's an average of about four million a day, and we're yeah. at 2.2 right towards the start of yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. But almost four days of trading left, so anything's possible. Oh, there. big yeah. time. Cooking, brother. I'll just keep watching it. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Have a great one. Have, have a sunny up here today. Oh, good. Send us a little sunshine. Yeah. We got some clouds down here. Yeah, we got a, yeah. We got clouds a tropical. And rain. We have a tropical so storm. Do we? Out in the Gulf. Oh, so we're not, it's not going to hit us, okay. but lots of rain is going to hit us bring in the today and tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are down 15. NASDAQ's off uh, 12. S&P's are down 4. We have the gold contract down $2.80 at 12 43 90 We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. 
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are down 21. NASDAQ's off 15. S&P's are off 5.5. And, and, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the top of the side. You can hit the banner, bring up the platform. They'll put $25,000 paper money into your account, and you can walk along with us as we uh, trade these defined option contracts. Now, you know, I've been talking about bonds forever, <laughs> okay? And this is pretty amazing, folks. This is amazing. It, 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 this, the, you know... When you talk about supply and demand, right? It's just amazing. Yeah. So, we'll, so despite past defaults, the Latin American um, the Latin American country Argentina yep. has sold debt maturing in a century. One hundred years. Not and, a they've bad deal. and they've defaulted, folks, eight times. So, and this a little more than a year since they returned to the capital markets right. with a record-breaking sixteen billion dollar issue. So just a year ago, yep. um, they come with a hundred million uh, hundred year bond and. Yesterday, Slide, they came with 100 million Sliding down here. So, Argentina sold $2.75 billion of debt with a coupon of 7.125%, equating to an annual yield of 7.9%. The bond attracted $9.75 billion in orders, orders. from investors. Um, and like you were saying it's, during the break, it's pretty remarkable, that type of demand. Isn't that amazing? For right. a country that could default. And yeah, and probably will default within 100 years. They've defaulted eight times. You could argue that almost anything can happen in the next 100 years. Sure. You know, I mean, Absolutely. in all seriousness, I say right. that. Right. right. Pretty remarkable. Um, right. Yeah. And, and so one of the reasons that we're going through this, folks, is that uh, our Treasury Secretary Mnuchin, okay. if you go back to Bloomberg for a second, he just sure. came out this morning. And what he's looking for um, right now, so... He's, he had already floated the idea. They were asking, uh, would he, you know, float a 50 or 100 year bond? Uh, so he came out this morning saying, hey, listen, yeah, we're, we're looking at this. And he doesn't want it to be a one off. Okay. Sure. So he wants to be a standard deal. Exactly. Right. So uh, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin said the U.S. government only intends to introduce ultra long bonds if there's an audience for regular issuance of the debt. We're reaching out to the borrowing community and investors to see what the demand is. Mnuchin said in a Bloomberg interview uh, in Bloomberg Television at an investment conference near Washington, D.C. Uh, this morning. Uh, what we don't want to create is a 
a completely one-off program. We want to see if it, it would be an important part of a borrowing capabilities. Well, it seems like if they're buying... If Argentina can pull it off, right? Yeah. I'm sure and, the U.S. And they had three times demand of what the supply was. Sure. Nine point something billion versus 2.7 billion, right? Okay, right, exactly. You know? right. So, There's bottom line... demand out there. Yeah. I, you know what blows my mind is that imagine that you can borrow money at, let's say, 8%, 7.9% for 100 years. Right. Pretty remarkable, it is. That, that folks, shows that inflation's going to hit here somehow because... If there's that much money floating around and they're looking to just get a few more points for a 100-year bond... For that type of risk, a country like that Argentina that's showing they have right. the capability to default as right. well, right? Yeah. Right. And they, they do it in a heartbeat. So talking about, you know, yes. risk, right? So jumping right. over, we've taken a look at the VIX, of course, which yeah. is the premium in the S&P 500 specifically. Yeah. So here are the daily ones. We're looking at expiring at 415 today, binary options, September contract, S&P trading at 2443. Yep. And you can see that we're only looking at wow. seven to eight points to the upside and you're yep. risking 14 to make 86. Yep. Conversely, 2436 to the downside, you're looking at about seven points to the downside, 7.5 points, risking 11 to make 89. Now jump to the weekly basis. Here's the same okay. chart, weekly binaries. Yep. Same price. 24.59, you're talking about only 16, 17 points. Now, this is almost four full trading days, right? right. You know, 14, 15 points, almost a half percent. That's all you're talking about. Yep. A little bit more, maybe 0.6% indice move, index move, and risking 20 to make 80. These are the ones that really catch my eye because if you, you know, could have, if you have a directional bias, if you think, you know, right. whether it's even up or, or down, down or both, right? Um, 24.71, you're looking at only about a 1% move, 28 points, just over a 1% move, yep. risking seven to make 93. 1%, but guess what? We haven't been getting 1% lately, and that's what's getting so, priced in here. you know, even when we brought Kevin on, this is where you can really tell that this VIX right now is saying, number one, they don't expect more than seven point move today. Right? Uh, stay with, this is the weekly. No, right? no, I, I, I uh, yes, swap back yes, to that, yes, okay, yes, yeah. because, and which is pretty amazing. Right? Sure. I mean, it's not even, yeah. I yeah. mean, realistically, so you're looking at like five points to the upside now and do the same thing looking five points to the, the negative side. Yeah. Right? You could buy both of these right. for about 50. Right. So maybe there's a 50 50 chance that it goes up or down maybe six wow. points. Yeah. Right? Because you'd yeah. be risking the 30 plus the 20 on the short side. So you get yeah. both of them risking 50. Okay, time for the vacation today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna set some volatility trades and, and I, go take uh, No, you know, it's so funny, though. I mean, it's like, wow, is that all we're gonna get here? You know what I mean? Hey, that's but what the market's saying, that's what sure. the, No, that's what the market is saying. Yeah. Now, the ones in the weekly, too, that's really intriguing, yeah, isn't it? and that's really where you can see, you know, directionally, if you wanted to make a trade, you could get some great value because there's yeah. so little premium. There really totally. is. Totally. Um, you know, and, and even that, looking at 2459, right? You're talking about right now 16 points exactly to the to the penny, 16 S and P points, and you're yep. risking one to make four, risking right. you know 19 to make hopefully 80 dollars and 75 cents. Um, not a big move no. over four trading days. No. But where are we sitting right now? Where are we sitting? Go back to NW17. The main. Yep. Because I'm just going to say that we're like flat. Right. We're yeah, flat and we're not, at highs. Right, exactly. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go uh, look uh, inside the uh, Dow to see what's, uh, well, there's not much moving it around, but we'll see what the moves are here. You have um, uh, Chevron putting 11 negative points in, Goldman's putting 11 negative, Exxon's putting eight, Disney's putting five, Apple's putting five. Uh, Positive points, we get Boeing putting 13 in, McDonald's putting 10. Uber's saving McDonald's, man. McDonald's, <laughs> uh, Uber is just bringing them Uber right. eats. Look at this, man. <laughs> yeah, more than that, but they're helping for that sure. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, inside your, your NDX 100, uh, Regeneron is up 5%. Alexa Pharmaceuticals is up 2.6. Uh, is this, let me see this. Insight. In, insight, too. This is up 2.3. I just want to see if this is a biotech, too. There you go. So it's a biotech. Okay, <laughs> makes sense. The okay, first so, sentence answers. Yeah. Uh, oh, so the four top leaders, folks, are all yeah. biotechs. 
Uh, Biogen is up 1.7. Uh, taken away from it, you got uh, Tractor Supply down 3%. Uh, Liberty's down 2.8, and Charter is down 2.6. How about, can we look at Tesla? Yeah. It was in the news a little bit today. They were saying that they are yeah. in the works to get a China factory, right? I, okay, it, so. No, exactly. Let me tell you, when I read this uh, this morning, I'm surprised Tesla ran out 20 to $30. Can you drill it down even closer? Go IGPO. Uh, yeah. To like, just yeah. IGPO. Yeah. Because yeah. you can. I was going to say, overnight it was a lot higher. Yeah, it, it popped to, uh, it what, opened. 378. Okay. Um, and what the news is, folks, is that and if that, uh, let's see, getting hitched in China may break the auto mode. Uh, Tesla might be able to drive into China, but it won't be able to ride solo. The electric car maker struck an agreement is really... Could strike an agreement. Could strike uh, to make vehicles in China. Yeah. So, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hold on, folks. 877-927-6648. Dow right now uh, is uh, down 17. NASDAQ's off 16. We're going to right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by. TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877 927 6648. 6648. 6648. Thank you. We'll get there. And, uh, so the oil market took a little uh, dip down again once again. I it mean, sure did. So this is just since 2 o'clock in the morning. So you can see that we were trading as high as almost 44.65, down almost below $43 now. Pretty remarkable. I mean, right. you're talking about even a buck 60 just in the last eight hours, six right. hours. Right. Yeah. Right. That's, that's pretty intense, no doubt about that. Yeah. 
Um, let's go uh, to John in New York. Hey, John, what's going on? Hey, Tom, thanks for taking my call. Sure, thanks for calling. Oh, thanks for holding, man. Speaking of oil, the Vanguard Energy Fund, VDE, what price would you buy it? Let me see. I'm not sure whether I, I can pull up funds. Is well, that Victor Paul Edward? It's not coming up here, is what, uh... Oh. No, VDE, Victor David Energy. There we go. We got you. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we got. Your trade is 8802. There we go. Okay. The fund seeks track performance of the MSCI Investable Market Energy Index. The index consists of large, medium sized, small U.S. companies within the energy sector involved with the construction or provision of oil rigs, as well as the exploration, production, and refining of oil gas products. If you look at their top holdings, it's yeah, okay, blue chip. Exxon, Chevron, Schlumberger, yeah. Conoco Phillips, okay. I wouldn't be buying it. Exxon and um, Chevron are like the only two yeah. you should probably be looking this at. This is almost right? like the XLE. Actually, I mean, they it's make up thirty over thirty-six percent of the fund is just Exxon and Chevron. Right. So it has a decent yield, and if you're patient, I think you could make money, right? Uh, no, I won't agree with that um, right now. <laughs> Um, you know, this has been a one-way trade. It just went from what, 100 and 106 dollars to 88. You're breaking your low today, and it looks like you're going to have volume. So this is another ABC down. What we have? What 94, 88? It's not bad. Six bucks. That gets you into 88 approximately. I mean, John, if you were listening, did you hear the? Caller earlier, Tom from Plymouth, looking at the ERY, which is the triple short of the energy. Yeah, and he's making money, right? Just so, yeah, and you know, it's those are the exact opposite trades. So tell yeah. Tom to stay in, you know, the energy shorts, and then buy in the energy fund. Just so, if, take, yeah. you know, consider what was said there too, just because it's kind of the inverse same deal when you're looking at Chevron, Exxon. Yeah, this can get down to eighty bucks. Eighty is the high of the. Uh, looks like February, the week of February 19th, 2016. You know, and this, if you look in here, watch, I'll show you. Uh, the, one of the easy ways to do this is if you go right into the XLE, you're going to see it's almost the same. See, that it actually, is. that is the same. Well, they make up 41% in the XLE, and it was 36% yeah. in right. the, the Vanguard Okay, fund. and, Sh and Schlumberger, Schlumberger was, was third. Conoco so, was fourth. Yeah, so, so it's was pretty, EOG. Yeah. Right. Um, pretty similar makeup to the XLE. Yeah. I would just wait for lower prices because they're coming at us. It looks like they're coming at us fast and furious. You know, there's, there's an article, uh, you know, we've been talking about oil um, specifically in the aspect, okay, is it the um, electric market that is pushing this down so much sure. in, in a way? The other renewable energies or something you're talking about. Oh, right. wait to hear this. There's an article. You can pull this article, folks, today on Bloomberg, and what the article is about is renewable energy in southern Texas and in southern Texas folks okay now this is oil country and gas country sure. right well the windmills are putting the gas companies out of business because it's called a convection wind and at the peak of the day what ends up happening is that that's when wind normally isn't around the United States well in Texas it is but the way that it comes in off the Gulf okay and these wind companies are eating everyone's, meaning gas and oil, they're, they're making money hand over fist, and they're pushing that energy in. So There's a it, lot of factors in oil. That being one of and them. If no, that, is, and if that's that. happening in Texas, let me tell you something. Texas is an oil country. Sure. Um, it's a great article to understand that, you know, I mean, we, we, I don't think we know yet, is that what's happening with oil? But after I read that, I says, look at this. I this. think there's a lot of things happening. Yeah. So it, that being one. Simultaneously. You know, right, exactly. simultaneously. You know? And none of them are kind of good for the price you know? of oil, really. So, so I understand what you were saying, John, is that, you know, it's been down so much and you think that you can make money in it. Because that would be the normal mantra, I think, with Exxon and Mobil. Like, they're always going to be there. And they will always be there, but I'm just not quite sure um, if oil is going to be... You know, oil could go lower, right? Yeah, That's right, what I think too. Right. It's like you know, yeah. forty-two dollars, okay, yeah, but we've just saw it at twenty-seven dollars not that long ago, yeah, and and not a tremendous amount has changed that should cause oil to be. I mean, if you look at it, oil is what up fifty percent from that twenty-seven, up more than fifty percent off twenty-seven dollars. Does that make sense? Twenty-seven is probably a little low, but guess what? It can go into the thirties. That's for sure.
Yeah. So I'll wait for eighty, right? Yeah, I just sit there and wait. You know, wait till everyone's but screaming and yelling, man, and you know that you hear everywhere that you know. Oil's not coming back, and then oil will come back, of course. Because this is even with OPEC, like, kind of cooperating. Right? Oh, yeah. Things going well there. Right. Like, them extending the deal. That right. could have went a lot worse. They right. could have said, no way. You know, the Saudis could have said, guess what? We're pumping oil. You know, and they didn't. And, so that's and, my point. Like, even with right. all that, right? And as it gets lower, they're going to have to pump oil. Right. That's <laughs> right. Exactly. That's the other side. Because then it's all about cash flow. And then it's like, and then it's every man for himself, every woman for himself. I need that money right now. Yep. You know? So... Just keep your hands in your but pockets for a bit. What drives the price? Demand or supply? You know? I would say that well, right now you 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 have much more supply than you have demand, and that's kind of what we're talking about. Meaning that you have electric cars happening all over the world. This, yeah, but how many people can afford a Tesla? You know, you, you don't need a Tesla. What about a Prius? <laughs> Prius is cheap yeah. money. You know, you don't need a Tesla at all. It's yeah. where supply equals demand, not which one controls it. Yeah. And they're both yeah. kind of, they're yeah. both, yeah. You, you know, know, there's more supply and there seems to be a consensus of less demand when other, you know, right. so they're both kind and, of moving and against. And then, you know, is, yeah, if you look, Hertz, Hertz rent a car, Hertz looks like it's going to go out of business. And I'm not sure whether that's because of Uber <laughs> or because they use, use cars that they can't, you know, can't basically sell them. But they, they, you know, everything could change with that, automated drivers this, on Uber in the next Hertz, 10 years. Hertz, Hertz just went from uh, $125 down to, uh, yeah, $125 down to 9 bucks. Yep. You know? You so, got a ride. I saw that yesterday, yeah. Man. Yeah. And, you know, I always bring up the aspect, not that I rent cars a lot, but I don't even rent them anymore when I'm going to the city to do business. I take an Uber. Yep. And it's cheaper. Yep. And it's more efficient. Yeah. You know? And little and by little, that's kind of not the hurt. only one, exactly. No, exactly. All right, thank you. Okay, man. Thanks, John. Have a great one. Have a safe one. The uh, you, know, you hear studies about how, you know, what would it take a fleet of cars to control, let's say, to replace New York cabs, right? You yes. know, completely. And it's a lot less cabs there in New York because guess what? So often it's inefficient. They're not being used. You right. know, they're not. So you could you can see that less cars could do the job when you have them oh, on yeah. demand or whatever it is, and that's where you really get into, especially people driving. You don't need to drive, and oh man, if you know you capitalize on that efficiency of apps like Uber, before you know it, you have a, a quarter of the cars on the road that used to be right. because everybody's just being and efficient. Every car is being totally. used and filled, as opposed to guess what? Everyone knows how many cars just sit doing nothing all totally. day. That's and not, you get, when you get used to not driving, it's awesome. And when you think about you, the you cost walk, per day outside. that you pay for your car oh. to sit in your lot and do it. nothing, I get it exactly. But I jump my car right now and go driving. You stay right there. Tommy and I come right back, folks. <laughs>
Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technicians Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is flat. You get the S&Ps uh, down two and a half. Nasdaq's down off uh, five and a half. And uh, we had our man, uh, Mr. Larry Presavento, coming up. Uh, he's actually coming up next for, for Basil. He is. He's going to fill in. He's doing double duty today, 11 o'clock, for Basil Chapman, hosting the Tiger Technician's Hour. And a week from tomorrow, time flies, man. It a week flies. from tomorrow, Larry Pesavento, an evening with Larry Pesavento, an autobiography, autobiography of 55 years of trading experience. Um, Huge. Yeah, so yeah. this is for subscribers to Larry's Fibonacci 24-7. You can also sign up for just the webinar if you want it, but it's the same price. We encourage everybody to get in there, get Larry's newsletter. He just came out with his weekly report over the weekend, so you can still get that. He's got charts coming 24-7, charts, videos, and of course, uh, a week from tomorrow, June 28th, 6 till 8. So two-hour webinar, and he's going to be going through his 55 years, man, from the 60s, the wild 60s, <laughs> as uh, your 70s, generation, I think, called them, right? Yeah, yeah. it um, was the 60s and 70s, actually. Yeah. yeah, right. End of the 60s, beginning of the 70s. Uh, and then I showed up two months into the 80s, unfortunately. You did. I missed all that fun, but <laughs> the 80s and 90s had their fun, too. <laughs> yeah. But hey, listen, folks, Larry had just did this, did this about a month ago in he Europe. Did. When okay. he took that week off here, yep. that's when yep. he was so, skipping around Europe, yep. sharing his wealth of knowledge with those fine Europeans over there. Exactly. And now he came back to do the same thing here. He said it went so well, he wanted to do it for his subscribers. So yep. he said, let's do it, man. Totally. So get in there, sign up. You'll get access to the newsletter immediately. Uh, you get 30 days for $97, and you get the workshop. It will be archived, of course. Great deal, for Isn't sure. Isn't it hard to believe that, like, Next Wednesday is June 28th. It is. That's why I said a week from tomorrow, like amazing, because when even we were talking about it, we said, you know, we were picking a date. We said, okay, that's two weeks. You know, that'll be good. It right. seems like we just had that conversation. Now it's a week from tomorrow. And before we know it, it's going to be next week. Amazing. It is. And of course, uh, being Tuesday, we got a full lineup for you. We get, uh, after, after Larry, you're going to have go to Think of Swim headquarters. Steve Rhodes, one to two. Dave White, I'll be back two to four. Um, I mean, four, three to three to five. I'm in. Mr. Uh, Andy Heck will be uh, five to six, uh, talking commodities um, and markets out here. You know, when you brought up that VIX, I mean, it's saying it all. The bottom line is that. Can you, you know, jump back to the VIX? Yeah. Thing? You know, you're. The, the, it's going to be even lower. The VIX isn't looking for uh, a 1061. All right. Yeah, it's not looking for a seven oh, no. point move today. Definitely not. You yeah. know, and you can see if we bring up. So watch this. Seven S and P points. That's craziness, man. Uh, <laughs> so if you bring this up, you're going to see like right now the S and P is flat. So the oh one second those S P U seven. So the range inside the S and P today. Uh, well, this is interesting. The high to low, but that's from last night. This. Uh, let me, let me look sure. at this again. 2441 from the small. And again, that is high to low. So going off a of medium, that yeah. would only be five points in either direction. So that's kind of fair when it's saying seven points in one direction. Yeah. And that would be from, I guess. You know, if you only get 10 points from high to low, right? That's, right. that's not seven points in one way or the other. Yeah. That's the way the market maker would look at that almost. Okay, right. right? You know, I right. mean, that's how I right. just look at it. And from 8 o'clock this morning, 
we've really gone from 48 to well, no, we just hit the the 41. Yeah, we hit the sure. 41. So that's the, there's seven oh, yeah. points. Right, right. There's there's a seven points. Yeah. And now you're going back up the other side and trying to get into uh, 2447. Right yeah. now you're at 2444. So it's pretty amazing that when you think about this, that many market participants come in the marketplace. I want low. I want high. Here's your two-way paper, as Kevin said. Hey, the definition said. is the supply, where supply equals demand, that's the fair market price. You know, that's where equilibrium should be. Right. So if you have enough suppliers and demanders, right. they're going to find that's that it. right price. Amazing. Exactly. Stay right there, folks. Uh, our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, is going to be uh, coming up. Dow Industrials are right now down seven. NASDAQ's off seven. SPs are off three and a half. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.